Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to find the arc length. Now, what is arc length? Arc length, all you need to do is follow this formula. The arc length is basically the integral from A to B. There's no axis of revolution in this case. A square root of one plus F prime of X squared. Okay, so we just need to apply this formula to find arc length. Okay, so if you look at this equation here, the first thing that I need to do is to find the derivative of this equation. So what is y prime? y prime is going to be 3x squared over 6 minus 1 over 2x squared. Okay, so the derivative of this, this is basically 1 half x to the power of minus 1. So all you need to do is bring down the minus 1 and then it becomes minus 2, right? So that's why I have something like this. So this is from calculus 1. So if you simplify this a little bit, this is going to be 1 over 2 x squared minus 1 over x squared. Okay? So, because what 3 over 6 is 1 half, so I just factor out the 1 half. Now that I have something like this, I just need to plug it in into the formula. I know that from A to B is 1 half to 2. So my equation, arc length, is A to B square root of 1 plus y prime square dx, right? So if I plug in all the information now, I have 1 half to 2 square root of 1 plus 1 half times x squared minus 1 over x squared, this whole thing square dx. Now to simplify this a little bit, I need to multiply out this bracket here. Okay, so what does this give us? This is going to be 1 half to 2 square root of 1 quarter x to the 4 plus 2 plus 1 over x to the 4 dx. So this is what I simplified after I multiply out the, the bracket here and with the plus 1 in front. And that's something that I got. And what do you know? This is a perfect square. So perfect square, then if you have a square root, that will make you your life much easier. So this, okay, there's no more square root. I'll take it off. So this is going to be 1 half x squared plus 1 over x squared dx. Okay, so, so I have something like this. And then what do I need to do here? I just need to evaluate the integral now. Now, if you evaluate the integral, this is going to be 1 half stay in front and then I have the, my x squared becomes x cubed over 3 minus 1 over x because that was uh, x to the power of minus 2. So it becomes minus 1 over x. This is from 1 half to 2. Now, if you plug in these numbers, the answer is going to give you 33 over 16, right? Using fundamental theorem of calculus part 2 or part 1, depending on how the teacher teach it. So you can just plug in the numbers, subtract with plugging the number with one half here. You will get 33 over 16. For more information about arc length, please visit my website, goforaplus.com.